In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Ostend. At number one, we have the Atlantic Wall Museum. This open-air museum is a well-preserved remnant of Germany's Second World War coastal defense. It offers a captivating journey through two kilometers of tunnels and trenches, 60 bunkers, and various observation posts and gun positions. An audio guide provides intriguing insights into these 80-year-old structures, making it a must-visit for history enthusiasts. At number two, we have the Beach of Ostend. With seven kilometers of fine sand, this beach is a paradise for sunbathers and water sports enthusiasts. The beach is divided into six different sections, each offering a unique experience. Whether you're into kite surfing, beach volleyball, or simply lounging by the sea, Ostend's beach has something for everyone. At number three, we have the Zeilship Mercator. This three-master sailboat serves as a floating museum and is permanently moored in front of Austin's City Hall. The ship has had a long and eventful career, including bringing home the remains of Father Damien, a missionary and saint. The Mercator is a cherished piece of Austin's heritage and offers a glimpse into maritime history. At number four, we have the Kustrum, Coast Tram. This tram line is almost 70 kilometers long and serves almost all of the Belgian coast. It offers a convenient way to explore attractions like the museums at Riverside and provides constant sea views between Ostend and Middelkirke. It's a unique and scenic way to get around. At number five, we have the St. Petrus an Pauluskirk. This neo-Gothic church is a masterpiece of architecture, featuring intricate carvings and stunning stained glass windows. The church was built by King Leopold II and stands as a testament to Austin's regal history. At number six, we have the Koninklijke Gonderegion, Royal Galleries. These galleries are a stately Doric colonnade that stretches for almost 400 meters along the seafront. Designed by French architect Charles Giraud, they were intended to protect visitors from the elements and offer a luxurious walk by the sea. At number seven, we have Fort Napoleon. This polygonal fort was completed in 1811 and has served various purposes over the years, including as a German headquarters during the First World War. The fort is still completely intact and offers an interpretive trail that is also adapted for children. At number eight, we have Anno 1465 Riverside. This museum and archaeological site offers a glimpse into the life of a medieval fishing village. The site features painstakingly reconstructed houses and a bakery, along with an audio guide that tells the stories of the villagers. At number 9, we have Leopold Park. This English-style park is a peaceful retreat from the bustling city. It features a pond, a flower clock, and a bandstand that holds regular music performances in the summer. At number 10, we have Musée E. This museum focuses on Belgian art from the middle of the 19th century to the present. It features works by renowned artists like James Ensor, Leon Spillier, and Constant Permecki, among others. At number 11, we have Maria Hendrika Park. This 45-hectare park was ordered by Leopold II and named after his wife. It offers a peaceful setting for a walk or a jog, with plenty of water features and meandering paths. At number 12, we have Museums Chip Amandine. This trawler serves as a museum that offers a glimpse into the life of long-distance fishing expeditions. The ship has been left as if it's just returned to port, providing an authentic experience. At number 13, we have the Western Breakwater. This recently opened breakwater offers a scenic walk along the harbor entrance. It features lighting, benches, and public art, making it a great place to catch the sunset. At number 14, we have street art. Austin has been transformed by breathtaking murals through an annual contemporary street art festival called the Crystal Ship. The city's tourist office offers a free map to guide you through these transformative works of art. At number 15, we have the Zan Sculpture and Festival. This summer event features sand sculptures by artists from 12 different nations. The sculptures are built to resist the elements and offer a unique outdoor gallery experience. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Austin. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.